thousand plus life cycles. Whereas a lithium iron phosphate can offer you 2,500 plus life cycles. And in certain cases, for especially for bigger power stations, as much as 3,500 plus life cycles. So we wanted to use it for a long, 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 long time without worrying about um, the battery degrading too fast. Okay, so 537 watt hours, this is the capacity of the battery. The higher the number is, the higher the capacity is, right? But what is the wattage limitation? So how many watts can AC inverter pull out? Uh, 700 watts maximum, okay? And 1400 watts on the peak. When you plug a device with a motor or with an inverter, you'll experience a peak, okay? So you plug it in, the motor kicks on, it takes a lot of energy to kick on actually, right? So it spikes and then it drops down. So on the spike, it cannot go higher than 100, uh, than 1400 watts, right? If it goes higher than that, overload. Now, um, and then it drops down. So as long as it drops down below 700 watts, you're safe and you can keep running this device normally okay now we have 13 outputs right here and we'll take a look at each and every of them and we have six ways to recharge ev55 six ways to recharge we'll also talk about them one important criteria since we advocate for solar charging it begs the question what is the maximum solar input for ev55 the maximum solar input is 200 watts so it's quite good and the maximum fast dual charging input for uh, solar and AC charging at the same time we have 200 plus 200 400 watts in total okay now speaking about dimensions of EV55 it's 10.94 inches by 7.97 inches by 7.79 inches if you're worrying about using it when, when it's very cold or very hot, here's the temperature that we recommend using it under. So when you're charging your EV55, okay, when you're charging it, we don't recommend that you use it, charge it under the temperature lower than 32 degrees Fahrenheit and not higher than 104 degrees Fahrenheit. And this 114 degrees Fahrenheit, excuse me. And discharging temperature, we don't recommend that you discharge it under temperature lower than minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. It equals to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Quite cold, but again, in some parts of Canada, it's way colder than that. So take this into account, please. We are not radical about that. We're not, you know, religious about that. Like, oh no, you can't go like minus four if it's minus five. No. We give you an approximate temperature, you know, what we uh, are certain about. So we, we don't recommend you go, you, you actually use it when it's colder than, min colder than minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit and when it's hotter than 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now speaking about the uh, accessories or cables that we have in the box, okay? Very important part. So in the box, when you receive EV55, you also receive AC and DC charging cable and I have it right here. Here's what it looks like. Okay, here's uh, AC and DC charging cable. So you plug it in like this. Okay, and this side goes to the wall outlet or to the uh, generator if you want to charge from a generator during uh, power outages, for example, right? So you have this adapter with charging cables in the box. Okay, you also have a user manual in the box must have of course you have it there and a warranty card you have a warranty card so that if something goes wrong you can always claim your warranty right now this is it we don't have any other accessories or cables or charging uh, devices in the box we only have this again this adapter with a 790, 7909 input here and wall outlet charging cable on the other on the other side so you can plug it in here and charge from a wall outlet or from a generator or from another power stations for example and we have the warranty card of course and paperwork and um, and the user manual now we also have extra options okay so extra options include car charging cable car charging cable so if you want to acquire car charging cable and it looks like this here's what the car charging cable looks like okay you, you want to purchase it separately on the website but it's very cheap okay so it's not expensive at all so you can 
you can get it on other platforms or on our official website here is the car charging cable we also have solar charging cable mc4 to xt60 female and here is what it looks like okay uh, mc4 connectors to xt60 female now this side go oh uh, not this one but looks like that okay but yeah looks like that not this one in particular mc4 connectors and this part right here okay cool now and we also have a uh, charging adapter cable xt60 female if you need that again not everyone will need that so we don't put them in the box we don't make them default accessories so that we can keep the price lower okay but if you want to get them uh, you can buy them on our website for at a very affordable price now guys let's take a look at the outputs one of my favorite parts what do we have right here so on the top from the bird side view we can see this wireless charging output rated at 15 watts okay so Again, uh, if your phone supports wireless charging, place it here in the center, enable DC, make sure that you turn DC on and DC button is uh, AC, here is DC, okay, because the wireless charging pad is a direct current, DC output, okay, hold on a second, and start, yep, yeah. let me try this one, yeah, DC here, yes, okay, Okay, yeah, so you, you have to really find this spot first because if you put it uh, lower or higher or to, to the, too much to the left to the right, it will not charge. So find a spot first and right now it is charging 94%. Okay, now uh, wireless sharing pad number one on the top. Now what do we have here? Here we have, uh, here we have the four USB-A ports. Uh, can we have a closer look? Can we? Readjust the camera a little bit. Yeah, cool, cool. So here we have four USB-A ports, five volts and three amps, 15 amps, okay? Uh, 15 watts, excuse me, 15 watts. So here's USB-A ports. We can do a lot of stuff with them. We can run some office fans. We can charge phones. We can run and charge so many appliances from those USB-A ports. And we have four of them, which is really good. On the top, quite inconspicuous, we have this USB-C port, 100 watts, quick charge. So again, charge iPhones, MacBooks, and other devices that use USB-C port. And it's a quick charge, 100 watts. Okay, now, what do we have here? Here we have a car power socket, or in other words, a cigarette lighter. This is must have. This one is standard one, 12 volts and 10 amps. So. We could, run, we could run fridges, we could run, um, yeah, many fridges, for example, and other devices, as long as they have uh, this car power socket input. And here's uh, 12 volts and 10 amps port, 7909 uh, ports, I think they called. Okay, so, oh no, this is 55 to 1 ports, yeah, 55 to 1 ports. Anyway, those are for certain uh, Wi-Fi routers and devices like this, so if you find them useful, it's great. In any case, we have two of them right here. And here's four, U four AC outlets, okay, four AC outlets, and those two are a little bit different. They are 120 volts, those are 100 volts, and AC output 120, 100 to 120 volts, 700, 700 watts, okay. All right, guys, so this is the outputs right here. We also have the screen. Now, the screen looks like that. Here's the input. On the top, we can see the input. Here's the output. So when we're using some devices, uh, we can see how many watts are being pulled out from here. And the input shows us how many watts are coming in, okay? So when we're charging our EV55, what is the charging rate? How long uh, will it take us to charge? You can figure that out by the input from here. Here is the battery life in bars. It shows us like right now from 20 to 40%. Eco mode, eco mode turns off the AC inverter in four hours. If there is no load or the load is very low, it does so save the battery. And we also have frequency here, it's standard 60 hertz in America. And if we have any alerts like overload, overheat, temperature high, temperature low, short circuit, and any other alerts, you will see them in red right here, okay? Now also, when we turn a AC on and DC on, the screen will stay on longer. In other cases, guys, it will turn, it will, uh, 
turn off quite quickly. So um, 30 seconds max. Okay, we do it. We, we did it so that we can save the battery because the screen draws down the battery. So um, I hope you don't mind that too much. Okay, Helena, can we please turn on the conditioner? It's too hot. Okay. Yeah, you can just give me the remote if you want. Okay, sure. So guys, here is the screen of uh, here's the screen of EBIT 55. More video troubles tonight. Do we have any troubles? Any video troubles? Do we have any uh, maybe uh, like a sound or the no? Because we had a comment. Uh, happy birthday, not slim, not slim. One happy birthday. It's your birthday, seriously? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, very good to have you here on your birthday. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Guys, this countdown, what is that? Oh, 30 seconds before our first giveaway. Seriously, 30 seconds and our first giveaway is a bloody cap. 30 seconds, yes, Joe McConaughey knows what to do. It's uh, typing blue Eddie. Uh Please type blue Eddie in the comments. Uh, bloody, bloody, bloody! Happy birthday, not slim one. Very good <laughs> to have you here. So it's actually the second time we uh, celebrate the birthday with one of our followers. Last time was Sharfar Maid, I remember, and this time it's not slim one. Okay, I think we know who to pick for a winner, right? <laughs> it's someone's birthday. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. All right, uh, all good sound and video. Okay, thank you, Sword and Prepper. Thank you for the feedback. <coughs> <clears throat> okay, guys, if you experience any problems, please let us know in the comments. All right, yeah, guys, please type Bloody in the comments. Our first giveaway is this Bloody Cap. Bloody Cap. Okay, let me have a sip of water. Wow, those 20 minutes passed very quickly. It felt like five minutes to me. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it is giveaway right now. Bladdy, bladdy, bladdy. We give away uh, one cap on Facebook and one cap or hat or how do you call it on YouTube. I think we all can agree, says Joe, meaning that. <laughs> okay, I know what you mean. I know what you did there. Okay, cool. So uh, anyway, guys, again, it's not. It's neither me nor Helena who chooses the winners because we would be very biased, I guess. I don't know. Um, and actually, actually, guys. Helena's idea that she first proposed and then I I think it's a good idea is that we uh, try this digital uh, what is it called uh, spin, to win. Sp uh, okay. spin, to win. spin to win thing right so we put your names there and uh, we'll you know like it's like a I forgot this I forgot this word what is it called uh, you know spin spin right yes. uh, Anyway, yeah, um, like a draw, yeah, like a draw, spin. So we'll put your names there. I'll just copy them. Like I'll copy your nicknames here, and I put them there. And it's like a digital spin, like a draw thing. And uh, it's more. It's gonna be more fun, I guess. But because right now my my laptop, um, there were certain problems with that with the with the connection on my laptop. So. We couldn't do it today, but I think next time we'll do that. It's gonna be more fun. But for now, we just choosing the winners. Our team from another like office chooses the winners, so they're very unbiased. <laughs> a yeah, a random generator is is a good idea too. I agree, but it's uh, I know, but like that that spin to win thing, it looks more, it looks better. I, I'm, I'm telling you guys, so you'll like it. I'll show it to you next time. Spin to win is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. We'll try next time again. I was prepared to do it today, but because again, I couldn't uh, connect uh, to my computer, so I'm using this company's computer right now. And next time, next time. Okay. Now, uh, okay, we almost have the winners. So let's do a countdown. Uh, Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so this cap goes to Milo Mor Merano from Facebook. Milo Merano from Facebook, yeah. And from YouTube is Marcus Volens. Market Marcus Volens. Marcus Volens, congratulations, Marcus Volens and Milo Merano. Okay, congratulations, guys. Guys, please reach out to um, to our email because we have to ship you 
the giveaways we don't know where to ship it to okay so please reach out to us uh, live stream at blueeddypower.com okay uh, send us your shipping address full name phone number and attach the screenshot where we say congratulations 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 marcus says i can well i can believe that yes yeah, sir okay thanks thank you <clears throat> again uh M milo moreno and marcus uh, volens please reach out to our email livestream at bloodypower.com send us your shipping address your phone number phone name and attach the screenshot where we say congratulations thank you congrats and welcome away from science jeff hello uh august hello jr okay guys very good very good to see you here okay all right okay cool now let's keep going let's keep going where do we stop we stopped on the screen right here right and okay guys now some um information about charging of iba 55 so there are various charging methods okay i told i said there were six charging methods right okay now let's name them one by one uh so of course the first one the most obvious is of course a wall charging right charging from ac output now it's per it works perfectly flawlessly when we have grid power at home just plug it in the wall outlet with this adapter that's included in the box right here right and enjoy nice and stable charging from your wall outlet now what if there is uh, god forbid power outages they happen right you can charge from a generator no problem with the same adapter uh, another method is charging from solar panels and of course we'll be very happy every time you're charging for solar panels i feel very happy about that uh, you can do this with from from this output okay dc fbt and when you plug in a when you plug in a solar panel make sure that the open circuit voltage is in this range in this case it's from 12 to 28 volts okay and also you have to know that the amperage limitation is in this case 8 amps okay yeah thank you okay so dc and the t 12 to 28 volts and 8 amps so the open circuit voltage it's voc for short on the solar panel it's one number okay it may be uh, 25 volts or 24 volts or 44 volts okay so make sure that this number is in this range it's not lower than 12 and not higher than 28 it's very serious guys okay but this amperage it's, it just shows you that the maximum amperage will be 8 amps doesn't matter what amperage on the solar panel is here the amperage will be 8 amps this one is not very important but the open circuit voltage those two numbers oh sorry those numbers are important <laughs> okay cool um here's the adapter okay and it's 25 28 volts and 10 amps too so i also have to understand that especially voltage is very important okay mark flat says just ordered a dc to dc charger and an inverter to charge my ac max while i drive thanks mark um yeah exactly guys so you see mark is going to drive and charge ac max it's a good um it's a good idea if you're driving a lot right especially if you have like a bigger track so you can you have the you have place you have some space to put a standard max there a standard max is exactly the same size as a p so for those of you guys who don't know what a standard max is a standard max is this size it's not a standard max it's a standard p but the same size quite big right mark be careful most dc charts won't charge the input of an and PPT controller. Oh yeah, so uh right, thank you. <laughs> I didn't think about that, but thank you. Okay. Uh we uh, are we doing good. Thank you for asking, JR. Okay, congrats, congrats. All right. Thank you for answering the questions and uh, Jeff, really appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Now, guys, uh from wall outlet charging, the maximum input is 200 watts. From dual charging, we can charge from AC and from PV at the same time the maximum input will be 400 watts is 200 watts doubled right and we also have one more way is dual AC charging so you can uh, get one more adapter and extra charger and also you can speed up the charging up to 400 watts we don't recommend doing that because um why would you do that right <laughs> but if you want to if for you it's critical to charge it faster well you can get it um, no problem now uh, car charging right you can charge in 55 both from uh, 12 volt and from 24 volt car power socket so from 12 volt the input is going to be 
um, lower and from 24 volts going to be twice higher than that but again both of those outputs are okay and those are mainly the uh, charting methods of EB55. Okay, no music nice to Stroll Diva. Yeah, we had a kind of like a conversation about that. So uh, most people said that music is distracting and also everyone has different tastes. This one I agree. And even for me, I would say, uh, I used to think it's boring to talk without music, but after playing music and trying talking with the music on, I find it very distractive too. Yes, I was listening to the music yeah. the whole time and I can't yeah. answer it's, everybody's questions. Yeah, exactly. And so that I'm listening to like the lyrics, you know, is just that, uh, I don't know, it's just hard to talk. It's just hard to talk with the music on. Um, <laughs> the math is a bit faster. Okay, okay, cool. Now, here are some common load run times we have an understanding if IB55 satisfies your needs or not. Smartphone, phone, right? Just a phone. Um, 10 watt hours is the phone battery. How many hours can you charge your phone? 40 to 50 times. So if you look in to charge your phone when you're outside from IB55, it's definitely a good idea. Uh, now, I recommend if you try to save the battery, I recommend you guys actually using the actual charger from your phone, maybe a type C or type USB type A. Because when we're using wireless charging pad on the top, uh, this is the nature of wireless charging pads that almost 50% of the power energy uh, is, is wasted, right? And your phone will uh, get a little bit hot, okay? That's also okay. Um, and the charging will be slower. So. Again, wireless charging can be awesome if you maybe don't have like cables or you just don't want to don't want to be bothered, right? Just put it on the top, no problem. But if you're outdoors, if you're camping, and you you want to save the battery, use your uh, phone cables to charge. Now, if you're running some LED lights, uh, Saint Valentine's Day is coming, right? Those of you uh, who have uh, who have uh, partners or have uh, spouses and husbands, guys, you're very lucky. You have family, maybe you want to take your uh, best half on the date, right? So how about having some LED light bulbs running? And I'm here, I'm telling you that if you're running a LED light bulbs from U55, they can last for 20 to 30 hours, okay? So enough for a date. Now, if you maybe want to watch some um, TV outdoors, maybe a movie, right? A romantic movie outdoors. What romantic movies do you know? Let me know in the comments. I only know Titanic. Okay, so um, you can run a 75 watt TV for five to six hours from EV55. Okay, now <laughs> here is a topic not related to the St. Valentine's Day. If you're repairing something outdoors, you're running electronic tools of 80 watts, you can again run them for five to six hours. Fridge of 90 watts can last for five, four to five hours from EV55. And if you're cooking outdoors, right, um, slow cooker can last for, for two to three hours, okay? 200 watt slow cooker. Okay, now, guys, EV55 right now is a very good price. Uh, the website price is $499, and the live stream price is $399. Okay, can we please uh, connect this computer to the HDMI cable so that we can... No, uh, no, no, because I, I told you my computer can't Last connect. Last time you run it without VPN, remember? Uh, I mean, okay. yeah, you could, but your computer is faster, remember? Yeah, it is much faster. So maybe connecting to your computer. Okay, let me try. It's actually the line right under Let me try. It's actually right underneath your foot. Okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. The adapter is there. Let me pick it up real quick. Okay, so sorry guys, Jim is picking up the adapter. He will be back in the video very soon. In five minutes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I have to get to MacBook. All right, guys. So uh, there we go. Uh, for those of you guys who are new here, but again, you know what the problem is that I know I, I can show you Blade of Lifestyle, but I can't open YouTube right now, right? Because they can't open YouTube without VPN, right? How did you open the VPN last time? Or how did you open YouTube last time? <laughs> anyway, let's just use this laptop right now. Okay. How many yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I still had this VPN membership. Oh, now you don't. No. People are like, why do you need VPN, bro? <laughs> Helena. Huh? You're giving us away. 
Okay, so uh, best love story in video, natural born killers. That sounds interesting. I'm hoping for the SDR Max for now. Seems like a good place to start. Yes, yes, I agree. No, I actually agree. SDR Max is... This is SNRP, by the way. SNRP Max is a very good one. I'm thinking if I had to like buy a, like a power station, I would also have, I will also get SNRP Max for sure. Why? Because uh, ASNR Max has the battery inside, I mean, duh, right? But it's actually, it's not a modular storage radar, it's the actual battery and it's expandable. So it's, it's perfect. You can buy ASNR Max, you don't have to buy anything else. You buy ASNR Max, you get it, you can choose it, you, you can use it, everything is great. Now, later on, if you want to expand it, you can buy 2 bit 130 batteries right here. You can buy 2B300 batteries, you can buy 1B300 battery, 1B130 battery. You can't mix them, but you know, you get my point. Okay, my video is good, good signal, good signal, good people. Okay, good. All right, cool. Uh, now, let me show you how to purchase during the live stream, guys. Here we are, prepare for the journey. Okay, let's switch to the. Okay, now there we are, guys. Uh, don't forget to give us a like, don't forget to uh, subscribe and like and all this stuff. Uh, now, please copy this, click the link. Actually, I came up with a new word for click the link. Clink, right? So next time I don't have to say click the link, I just can say clink, right? Okay. Think about it. Okay. That's funny, but yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I get the joke. <laughs> no, seriously though, like, it's a good word. Okay. You know, it's like a shortcut. Okay. Okay, guys, so here we are. Um, now we have two options add to cart. Never do that. You know, never put things off. Never put things off. Always act now. Uh, EB55, gray, dark gray, almost black to me. Okay, buy with shop pay or more payment options. Click the one that you prefer. And here, paste this code. Life. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Excuse me, this is not the right code. Um, Life EB55, yes, exactly, this one. It's okay, I just... No, 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 it's okay, it's all good. Interesting, oh, sorry guys, because I got used to MacBook, you know? The keyboard is different, so I didn't I didn't copy that actually. It's Control C. It's not Alt C. What I was pressing. Okay, and Control V. Yeah, nice. So four four nine becomes da 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 three nine nine guys three nine nine fifty dollars off again. If you're feeling like if you're thinking, what's the catch? There is no catch. Oh yeah, actually there is a catch. The catch is that the discount expires in in um more than an hour so be quick if you want to purchase it purchase it during the live stream okay no pressure but if you want to purchase it anyway purchase it now you will save fifty dollars okay <laughs> back to the live stream excuse me guys <clears throat> okay now here's eb55 um, it's called an ideal solution for outdoor trips indeed if you want to take it on a trip, it will not take much space. And by the way, guys, we have a light on the back side. And the light um, is really cool because it's just like flat ambient light, has two modes, lower brightness, higher brightness, and an SOS mode. Okay, very nice light. Let me know if you know. Uh, let me know if you like the light or not. Okay, the light is pretty cool because we have two main two uh, designs for light. Number one would be an older design is the light is here. Okay, this is EB step. You see how bright it is? Sorry if I blinded someone. Right, and SOS, and compare it to that light I just showed you. Right, very nice ambient light. Flat. Now this one is very useful too, of course. I and mean, if you're actually looking for something, if you need, or if, if you, God forbid, you have to SOS. Wow, yeah, this light can come in handy. But that light, um, EB55, is suitable more like for, you know, you can do some like journaling in your tent. You can do some uh, drawing. You can do this stuff. It's nice, calming. 
actually, I actually need this light at home. I'm taking this one home and placing it on my table because, uh, you know, in the evening when I'm trying to come down and like go to sleep, uh, I struggle with that mostly because my my lights uh, in the room are very, very light, very bright, right? Very bright. So. I need something like that, you know, maybe like yellow lights, is that what it's called, LED lights? All right, anyway guys, so this light, I, I really like it. This light is very useful too, but just different different nature of that light, different um, design and stuff. And let's move on EV70S. Of course, the light is only an accessory, so don't actually get, don't actually choose the power station based on the light, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just saying. Okay, now EV70S right here. And EB70S is a massive, massive uh, power stations, power stations, sorry, uh, with the capacity of 716 watt hours. Okay, and uh, the wattage is 800 watts. Eight hundred watts. Now compared to, uh, so capacity, right? 716 watt hours as opposed to 537 watt hours for EB55. And the wattage here is 800 watts compared to 700 watts. Now, this is why it's bigger, right? It has to be bigger. It has to be bigger to, so that we can actually place more battery inside and that we can actually give it like a higher uh, ability to load devices uh, up to 800 watts as opposed to 700 watts here. Okay. <laughs> Thinking it was to ask to power 12 volt fridge when camping. Good idea. Here is a 12. Here is a 12 volt fridge. Uh, I think it's Igor who said that. Yeah, Igor. Uh, you can also stay here and compete in the giveaway. We give away the fridge. So there we go. And let's let's take a look. Right now, this fridge only pulls out 34 watts, very low. And here's a 12 volt fridge. Uh, so it's runs perfectly. Okay, here's our Blatty fridge with Blatty logo. And we give it away today, but only on YouTube, so you're on the right platform. Guys from Facebook, at the end of this live stream, remember to jump to, uh, to YouTube because we only give away this fridge on YouTube. Okay, stay here to compete for this fridge. All right, all right. No app support for the EB70S, right, right, Jace. No app support. Basically, uh, if a power station doesn't have Bluetooth, we don't need app support, right? So only power stations that have Bluetooth have app support. Okay. Uh, what are you powering? Uh, what are, uh, we, we are powering? We are powering a fridge, powering a meta fridge. Okay, and right now it pulls out 32 watts. Okay, cool. Guys, let's keep going. So, EB70S. EB70S. Um, EB70S also has, hey guys, let's change the camera view. Yeah, EB70S also has 2500 plus life cycles, just like EB55 does, and the battery chemistry is the same. Lithium, iron, Phosphate. Now, in fact, all of our power stations right now running on lithium iron phosphate. Now, let's take a look at the outputs. They are a little bit different from what we have on EB55. And let's actually compare them since we have both of them here in the building. Let's compare them. So, number one, we have um, two USB C ports, or they actually code. They actually code PD 3.0 ports, right? So we have two of them as opposed to one USB-C port. I, I don't know if that's important for you or not. For me, it's definitely important because I'm using a lot of Apple electronics. So these ports are really useful. But again, um, you let me know if uh, this is important for you or not. But another thing is that we only have two USB-A ports, okay? Five volts, three amps, 15 watts. Here we have four of them. So again, if you need more USB-A ports, uh, is that good news for you? If you don't need USB-A USB ports, or at least don't need four of them, you, you think two of them is enough. Now, you will be happy about that, right? Here we have two uh, 5, 5 to 1 ports, 12 volts and 10 amps, same as here. 
Uh, here we have four uh, AC outputs, so same as here. So only like this part of DC outputs is different. The input is also different. The input here we have both input and MPPT, so this is both for solar panels and for AC charging. And the open circuit voltage is the same. It's 12 to 28 volts and uh, the um, and 200 watts max. So this is the same as the one right here. Now we also have an adapter that is included in the box of EB70S. Here's what it looks like. It's slightly bigger than the adapter of EB55. Here's the adapter of EB55. Well, this is the adapter of EB70S. A little bit bigger, isn't it? Okay, now this side, as you probably figure out, goes to the wall opener or to the um, generator during power outages. And this side goes into EB70S. Okay, now dimensions. You can uh, see that EB70S is a little bit bigger. So if you're thinking about a specific shaft or a place to put it on your desk or on the bookshelf, here's the exact dimensions of EB70S. It's 12.6 inches by 8.5 inches by 8.7 inches. And it weighs at 21.4 pounds. Now this charging temperature again is from minus four to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning when you actually use it, using it, make sure that the ambient temperature is not lower than minus four and not higher than 104 Fahrenheit. And charging temperature, meaning when you're charging your EB70S, make sure the ambient temperature is not lower than 32 Fahrenheit and not higher than 114 Fahrenheit. What do we have in the box? In the box, we actually have a little bit more accessories than for EB55. Specifically, we have this AC and DC charging cable and adapter included in the box. We have a car charging cable. Uh, for EB55, car charging cable is not included in the box. For EB70S, it is included in the box. Here's the car charging cable, okay? And again, here is the input. This, this one goes in your car cigarette lighter, 12 or 24 volt car cigarette lighter, car uh, power socket, right? And when your engine is running, when you're on the go, you can charge, you can you can get your EB70S charged, no energy wasted. And we also have solar charging cable, solar charging cable, MC4 connectors to the same 79, uh, 7909 input. Okay. And we all, of course, have a user manual and warranty card in the box. Now, the screen of the screen of EB70S is very similar, almost the same. Actually, it is the same, okay? But we'll talk about this after the giveaway, because giveaway time arrived. Okay, right now it's a giveaway time, and our second giveaway for today, for those of you guys who stayed with us, uh, I'm very happy to announce that our second giveaway is going to be Blatty Fridge Magnets. And Blatty Fridge Magnets, I have them here. It's our recent, it's the second time we give away Blatty Fridge Magnets. And we give away all of them, like the whole package. Okay, and here's what we have. So, maybe let's zoom out on the magnets. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> What? What do you mean by that? <laughs> okay, so here is number one, Blatty. I've seen one of the customers, he's from Canada. And right. asking for a discount code. And right. It's only for US customers only. Yeah, yeah, I actually, I wrote it down in the description, guys. All right, so Blatty Barbecue Delicious. Delicious anywhere. Can't argue. I, not, not only I know that, I actually said that. Okay. ac 200 p Blatty U. That's what it says. Uh, road trip. Road trip. This is the US. I like this one. From uh, east coast to west coast. Yeah, uh, power your life anywhere. But this one looks like fire to me, but this is actually mountains. But they do have wildfires. They do. <laughs> Go outdoor. Enjoy camping with Blatty. Go outdoors is always a good advice, guys. You gotta get this vitamin D. Uh, Blatty backs your home up. So you see, here is like a um, power outage and only in Blatty 
we have in Bledi house owners we have we have some lights there now here is EB3A may the force be with you very empowering AC300 and B300 the force shall free me okay now here we have Bledi solar generator very straightforward and of course here is oops sorry here is the Bledi logo I like this one and here is Bladdy Puppy, keep warmer in freeze winter. Wow. V very nice. I mean, I guess everybody likes it, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay, yeah, guys, thank you. Please keep typing Bladdy in the comments. Make sure you gave us a like. Thank you so much. Make sure you subscribed and make sure that you invited your friends to enjoy this together okay let's go let's go everybody so who is getting this set of stickers okay and when you get them when we ship it to you take a picture and hashtag us on facebook or on instagram okay hashtag us we would be happy to see your uh fridge full of bloody uh, maybe it's gonna be bloody fridge but this oh can you actually put that on the no it's not <laughs> no <laughs> okay Oops. Oops, awkward, so awkward. awkward. <laughs> okay, so yeah, bladdy, 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 bladdy. I'm not gonna say that. Okay, I'm gonna say that. Bladdy, give away ready. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. All right, make sure you give us a like. Thank you so much. Look at this. Look at this. This is the exact same pattern. I see this connection between those two. It, they are the same basically okay so bladdy 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 let's go let's go okay bladdy magnets for the world yes okay bladdy 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 uh we still picking the winners not us but our beloved colleagues okay okay and let's go so 10 9 8 7 6 Five, four, three, two, one, let's go! The YouTube vi uh, <laughs> the YouTube winner is Vicky Gambrell! Vicky Gambrell! Congratulations! And the Facebook winner is Deanna Bridges! Deanna Bridges! Congratulations, Deanna Bridges! So it's Deanna Bridges from Facebook and Vicky Gambrell from YouTube. Congrats, guys, and please email us at livestream at bluetti.com. Send us your shipping address, your name, phone number, and please attach that screenshot where we're saying, congratulations, Deanna Bridges from Facebook. Congratulations, Vicky Gambrel from YouTube. Guys, please email us at livestream at bloody.com within 48 hours. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for being here. And you are the winners of our second round of the giveaway. The next round is coming in 20 minutes as uh, soon as we reset the timer. And the next giveaway is the classic Bloody hoodie okay and if you wear this bloody hoodie with this t-shirt but just for the record we don't give this t-shirt away yet okay but look at this it's the same pattern the same pattern here and on the on the back side uh, yeah the same the same pattern okay 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 i just put the link for spin to the wing Right now, everybody entered your name. I set the timer. I think one minute. Uh huh. The winner. You want to try it? Uh, yeah, I could do that. Okay. We could do that. But I hope everybody can get So, what about I. No, no, no. Just, it's okay. Like, believe me, uh, this spin to win thing, uh, how it works is when we have, like, giveaway time, everybody taps bloody, okay? Just copy people's names. You, you, you can only copy once. I cannot. I cannot. Okay. I mean, I'm busy. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you're, you can't just demonstrate. Okay. I could do that but the on this laptop. Is just slow. slow, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And next time. Next time, when your laptop is like done. Done? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, here is charging, guys, charging info about EB70S. Uh, oh, first of all, screen, right? We stop on the screen. Okay, so um, 
Square is the same, so uh, it's going to be useful for those guys who missed the 55 presentation. If you guys already saw it, it's going to be very quick. So, okay, number one, we have input on the top and output here. So this is how many watts are coming in when we're charging our EB70S. Here's how many watts are being put out, being drawn from our EB70S. Okay, here's the battery life. Here is the eco mode. Eco mode is an economy mode. It will turn off the AC inverter in four hours of no load or very low load without affecting DC inverter. Here we have um, watts. Here we have hertz or frequency. 60 hertz is either 60 hertz for America or 50 hertz for Europe, the UK, some parts of Japan, etc. We can enter the settings mode. We will turn off the AC and the DC right here, and then we long press. AC and DC, this number 60 hertz can be changed. So when we press this button, we right now can change it to 50 hertz and 60 hertz, 50 hertz and 60 hertz. We keep it 60 hertz. Now when we press this button, eco mode is gone, eco mode is back, eco mode is gone, eco mode is back. Okay, and to exit the settings mode, again, long press AC and DC buttons and right now we exited the settings mode. By the way, the settings mode works the, uh, the same way on EB55. Can we please uh, switch the camera to EB55? Just put a little bit up. Okay, and I'll show you how to enter the settings mode on EB55. Again, when both a DC and AC buttons are off, long press AC and DC and now you can see 60 Hz. This parameter can be changed. So by pressing this button, you can change it to 50 Hz. 60 hertz, 50 hertz, 60 hertz, and by pressing the DC button, you can change eco mode off, eco mode on, eco mode off, eco mode on. And to exit the settings mode, again, long press AC and DC for three seconds, and you change the settings. But again, guys, you are in the US. For you, when you receive your EB55 or EB70S or any other power stations, of ours. It will be already set to 60 Hz and to 120 volts to uh, right. So you don't have to do this, but just in case you want to make some settings, there is a so called settings mode that you can uh, enter by long pressing AC and DC buttons when they both turn off. Just for you to know. EV5 looks kind of cute next to the EV70S. What I miss, Carcass? A good question. Yeah, you didn't miss much. You just missed the presentation of EV55, EV70S, and two giveaways. Okay. That's savage. Okay, that's what she said. Okay, cool. So uh, AC charging and um, car charging, generator charging, those are the ways to recharge EV55 and EV70S. So for AC charging, guys, it works the same way. Basically, just use this adapter that we, that we include in the box and uh, plug it in the AC wall outlet, right? And enjoy nice, stable charging. Or if there is a power outage, you can also use the same adapter uh, to charge from a, um, uh, a generator. Now, next, uh, the, another way is to charge from a solar panel, right? But again, make sure that the uh, open circuit voltage or VOC of that solar panel is in the range anywhere from 12 volts, not lower than 12 volts and not higher than 28 volts, okay? And the input current is 8 amps max. The input current, don't worry about that. So your solar panel input current can be anything, can be anything, just the amperage limitations here is 8 amps, so it will not be, it, it will not, go higher than 8 amps, right? So you just have to understand that. And the input power is 200 watts max. Now, again, we have MC4 connectors in the box. So, and all of our power, st all of our power stations have MC4 connectors. Uh, MC4 connectors look like this. And all of our solar panels have the same MC4 connectors, okay? So you can connect them very easily. Pan intended. Now, uh, if you have your own solar panels with MC4 connectors and or you can buy MC4 connectors and the open circuit voltage is and for EB55 or for AB70S is from 12 to 28 volts. You can use your solar panels, no problem. Now, uh, car charging is another option. So just plug it in your car charging, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> car charging car power socket and charge it when you're on the go. Uh, and a generator is another option again during power outages. Okay, now <clears throat> here is some information on how long we can run and charge various devices from EB70S. Number one is 
uh, our phone, right? Our phone is 10 watt hours, so we can charge it 50, 60, not hours, times. 50, 60 times, okay? Now, LED light bulb of 20 watts, we can run an LED, a 20 watt LED light bulb anywhere from 20 to 30 hours. Why this number is so different? It depends on manufacturers, on many factors, right? Such as, for example, ambient temperature, right? Uh, TV of 75 watts, we can run it for seven to eight hours. Electronic tools of 80 watts, we can run it for seven to eight hours. Fridge of 90 watts, 90 watts, guys. Just for a comparison, make a comparison. Uh, this mini fridge pulls out only that doesn't pull out anything already because we turned it off. But when I turn it back on, okay, 30 watts, 35 watts max, right? And I'm talking about a 90 watt refrigerator. And that refrigerator can last for six to seven hours. And finally, a 200 watt slow cooker, right? You can run it for two to three hours. Okay, guys, right now, let me show you how to place an order during the live stream and how to save money. This is a very good teamwork, Helena. Thank you. Okay, guys, scroll down the description. You can also be on Facebook, no problem. Okay. I'll show you the comments. So you can scroll the down. Yeah, in the comments, we also sending the link here and the, and the code. Awesome. Just make sure you copy the code. So here is EB70S. Here is the code. Control C or Command C. Uh, <coughs> okay. Now let's wait for it to load. Usually it's faster. What? Sorry, usually what? I'm just trying to explain it. Why is it slow? It's not our Wi Fi problem. <laughs> because you said usually, and, uh, okay. and people can't hear the, the second part. Okay. You just said usually. Okay. That's, that's art. Oh my god, Helena. Did you see that? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, it's the last mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here's a special agent, Helena, going to fix it. Seriously? <laughs> how do you how do you make Helena <laughs> enter the live room? Okay. Okay, it is 70. Sorry guys, don't don't hate me for that. I'm just I was Oh, no, right? Not. Let me see. <laughs> you see, that's how Helena talks all the time. It's working. No, it's I not. Crashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which uh, link did you put? Uh, EV70S. Okay. Right. I know, I know. It's just like sometimes it takes longer to load, right? Okay. And sometimes, like, like, what is it called? Uh, like, if it's loading for too long, mm -hmm. it will abort the operation, right? Uh, and it will say, error. Over time, right? It's gone. Okay. As far as I know. Try it again. Yeah, works. Um, I mean, I load the EB70S page. Yeah, yes, that's what we need. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. Nice. Let's go. Thank you for loading the EB70S page. Uh, buy with shop pay or more payment options. We already copied that code, remember? Yeah. Okay. So here, uh, control V the code. Aren't you cold? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Five hundred twenty. Very very romantic number, <laughs> right? Okay. And right now it's four nine nine. It's uh, twenty one dollars off, guys. So remember to use this code live eb seventy s capital or doesn't matter how you how you type them live eb seventy s or just simply copy paste that code and you're saving twenty one dollars. But the code is only valid during lesson and we uh, finish in one hour. So back to the studio, back to the studio, back to the broadcasting team. Okay, so uh, what time do we have before the giveaway? Uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, time flies. Indeed it does. Okay, you both make such a good team and have good chemistry, says Sword and Prepper. 
Helena has a boyfriend, guys, so we have no chemistry whatsoever. Okay, a short time later, quote, quote, did you eat your bag of harshly kisses? Okay, that was not slim. Seriously, ser Hershey. Seriously, though, Helena, I think we should like give not slim something, like ship him like a gift, you know, like maybe like a cap. Birthday. Oh, it's his birthday. birthday. Okay. Yeah, like maybe like a cap or something, you know? Okay, I'm gonna. Well, on your birthday, I think we have blue wedding bucks, remember? Seriously? I, I know, but I mean, don't forget to get your blue yeah, wedding yeah, bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm saying, don't forget to get your blue wedding bucks. <laughs> like, okay, like, okay, Helena, like maybe like in five years you will have your kids, right? And you will be like, Mom, it's my birthday. Yeah. No, no, no. You got no. blue wedding bucks. <laughs> Uh? Blue Eddie Box is real cash. That's what you're gonna say, your, your kids? <laughs> mom, but it's, mom, but I want like a teddy bear. Go go unlock your Blue Eddie Box. Okay, I... No, no, seriously, like, do you do you approve that idea? Yeah, I would Right? Ask, I right? Ask. Yeah, yeah. I'm not the one picking the gifts. I know, I know, right? I will ask. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can place... <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Helena saved the day. It says Corey Christman. Helena save the day. Helena, you save the day, Helena. Thank you. That makes uh yeah. That's the side we know and love. Thank you. Uh oops. Uh <laughs> music, no music. It's my birthday too. Really? Oh not really, but it could be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be, it could be, okay. <laughs> I like it. Not really, but it could be. It could be. You never know. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> it's my birthday too. Not really, but it could be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Guys, now EB70S, $21 off, limited discount code. Let's go for it. Okay, now I can't, I, honestly, I don't want to let EB55 and EB70S go. So let's just load some devices maybe before, before we give the floor to other um, power stations and solar panels. So I have this hair dryer and I know hair dryer is not ideal because it's loud. So we have to get something that is not loud and also can pull out sufficient output so we can demonstrate. But for now it's hair dryer. Uh, let's plug it in here. First EB70S, okay. I'm gonna be very careful because this hair dryer has uh, basically three modes. So number one is it, is it has like a snowflake symbol uh, next to it and that means um, cold hair, room temperature hair, uh, air, sorry, room temperature air accent. Okay, now we have number one, uh, like a Roman letter one, Roman letter two, this is like higher and higher. So we already know from before that we, can, we cannot go to second mode because it will overload our, I think it will, I'm not sure. I think it will, yeah. So let's try, let's try from um, the mode number one. And it's pulling out 201 watts together with the fridge, right? Yeah. Now let's go higher. 727. Now guys, I'm sorry, but I don't wanna go higher than that. But this is together with the fridge. Let's try to unplug the fridge. S 704 without the fridge, even 695. Now let me go to the highest mode, it might overload. I told you guys, it might overload. It overloaded. Now when it overloads, what do we do? We just unplug, fan, the hair dryer, turn it off. We turn it off, okay? It says overload. Can we please zoom in here? Overload, you see guys, this is the alert. Overload. Okay. Overload. Okay, so uh, just turn it off and turn it back on. And uh, plug it in. You see? The alert is gone. We just have to reload it. And no problem again. Okay, so don't be afraid of overload, but don't overload. Wait, did you turn it off? Yeah, yeah. Wait, so some of the customers asked before, they automatically shut it down or wait for you? It does automatically shut down, as you saw. A millisecond. Oh, okay. So I said, it's my overload. They don't gone. lower down the voltage. They, 
Not both of them. I mean, both. You know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. <clears throat> okay. Let me see. Uh, what? Okay. Cool. So uh, guys, that was EB seventy S. Maybe we can load EB fifty five. What do you think? Let's load EB fifty five. So again, let's try the same the same uh, refrigerator fridge refrigerator and the same hair dryer so let's turn this one on remember turn them on guys remember to this light you can see it here this light it has to be turned on so plug it in Ooh, nice okay and 34 watts from here and let's try it again from the first mode to the last mode to the yeah 191 Two seven six seven four eight. What seven four eight seven four nine seven five? If I go higher than that, you see what happened? Overload. Unplug. Unplug. Turn off, and the fans kick on kick off really loud right now. You probably could hear it because my mic is here. So, but last right now, we turn it off, we have overload, please count, could we uh, zoom in here? Again, the same icon, it's very inconspicuous, you can't, I doubt you can see that, but I can see that. I can see that. Oh my God, it's, what, what is going on? It, it's really, and you really can see it on. Oh, but. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, cool. But it says overload. The same. The same as there. I could. Uh, I can see that. Okay, cool. Now <clears throat> we turn back on. Overload is gone. I know you couldn't see that, guys, but it was really there. Trust me. And we can just again load any device. We have to turn AC on. AC on. Oh, I overloaded again because it didn't. I didn't turn it on. Okay, no overload now. Now I can try again. I think I just broke the hair dryer. <laughs> okay. All right. Ah, sorry, that was not the hair dryer's cable. Oh my god. That was the charging, that was the, that was the <laughs> AC charging adapter cable. This is the hair dryer. Everything is fine, guys. No hair dryers were harmed during filming this video. I just, you know what I did right here? From this angle, you can see it perfectly. You know what I did right here? So, look, I thought it was a hair dryer, right? Look, what I did, I, I plugged this one in. And you see, you hear it? Oh, the fans kicked on, and I was like, I think I just broke the hair dryer. <laughs> I was like, and there is no load. Oh, but no. This is the hair dryer. So, yeah, no, no hair dryers were harmed. We good. Uh, media hair dryer mode is amazing for this range of powers. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you. Let EB70. S. It's at EB70S because we have one model. It's called EB70, but it's not. It's no longer in stock. Okay. In the U.S. market. In the U.S. market. We are the U.S. market. Yes, but we do have some customers, you know. Yeah. From other countries. We have a lot of customers all over the world. Yes. Oh, the winner we picked is from South Africa. Okay. Yes. So yes, um, we sincerely apologize. We do open in the South Africa. <laughs> market right now just what do you mean assume soon we are actually even running the Facebook are you page. telling me we can ship to South Africa Product I, I once shipped to South Africa I it's really com it's really complicated oh, I mean the product maybe so um, the winner who who from a YouTuber from Facebook from Facebook from Facebook mm -hmm. Milo Moreno yeah or anyway, so uh, I said it. Look, okay. Anyway, so we cannot ship to South Africa. We cannot ship the giveaway to South Africa, right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. We, don't have a we, we cannot, sorry. No headers for harm. No, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Okay. Super Bowl. Power Super. <laughs> what is Super Bowl? It's the football game in the U.S. It's like oh. a huge. Thing. Like American football? Yes, it's like a huge thing. Rihanna ah. played this one this night. I think Rihanna just played. Rihanna? Yes, she did her performance. I think Kanye West just played. It was Rihanna. Oh, that yeah, was Rihanna. And everybody was talking about it right now. And then I think it was—it's just down right now, right? Everybody <clears> just watched the Super Bowl. I think. I, I think. Nice guys. Some people have to work. All oh, right. Like mm -hmm. us. Okay, so uh, let's go giveaway. And the third giveaway is bloody hoodie. Whoa. Yeah, with a special painting from Van Gogh right here. Guys, you can see. Can we please zoom out on this? Teacher, teacher. Okay. Okay. So, you see, guys, I'm like, I don't know a lot about art, as you probably could figure out from my speech patterns, but I'm pretty sure this is Van Gogh. Okay, so bloody, we've got some EB3 right there, we've got uh, some fire going on, LED lights. We've got one more tan behind, says Blady, and uh, I just like it a lot. It's also green, and green means what? Green means dollar. Uh, green means um, green means uh, green power. That's what it means. Okay, so twenty-eight people right now, guys. Please time type blue eddy i personally rock this uh, hoodie a lot so if you see someone in this hoodie it's probably me okay it's probably me because I, I wear it all the time in the gym uh at work on a date you know like in the sauna i wear it too so yeah it's a nice hoodie and really good quality hand act lol i am screaming that's me. Excuse me? Okay, it's so. Football. Like they hold it, like a hand act, so I find it funny. Okay. It's a meme. All right, all right, cool. So, I have a Van Gogh tan. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously? Okay, so. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, la, uh, nice, bloody, 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 bloody. <laughs> See me saying bloody one th ten thousand times. As like early uh, Mr. Beast videos, right? Uh, saying bloody ten thousand times. Okay, uh, bloody, 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 bloody. Thirty people online here. Well, twenty nine because one of them is me. Okay, Scooby Duetty. <laughs> okay, so slim. not slim. Where are you? That's slim one. Not Steven. Bloody. Type. Oh, I know what you're doing there. Oh my god. Birthday star. Type birthday. birthday star. Where's our birthday star? Where's our birthday star? Yes, birthday star. Probably birthday saying, star. I'm not your star. Okay. okay uh, all right, guys. Hi, Blady. In the comments, 32 yeah. people on YouTube. We also have one giveaway on Facebook and one on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching with your friend, you can just tell your friend, hey, go to Facebook and I'll be here. It's like, you know, it's like when you're queuing in a line. You send one friend to one line and you're staying in the other line. You know what I mean? The same logic. So you send your friend right now to Facebook and say, hey, if you win a hoodie, we split it in half, okay? We cut it and we split it in half. So we both have bloody hoodie. Um, all right. Well, yes, where is our birthday star? <laughs> Flagged for hair dryer abuse. What? <laughs> It's so funny. Flagged for hair dryer abuse. Okay, don't flag us for hair dryer abuse, please. We don't get. We don't want. We don't want to get a strike. Okay, bloody, bloody, bloody. Let's go, guys. Let's go. We almost ready to announce the winners. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. So the winner from Facebook is. Matt Neely, Matt Whoa. Neely, and the winner from YouTube is Blair Peters. 
Blair Peters. Congratulations, Blair Peters from YouTube and Matt Neely from Facebook. Now we have three people in this universe who are, who are wearing Blairy hoodie. Actually, more because we also gave it away before, guys. This Blairy hoodie um, is traveling to you right now. So, uh, Matt Neely from Facebook and Blair Peters from YouTube, please. Email us at livestream at bluaddy.com for the shipment. Please email us within 48 hours and send us your shipping address, your phone number, and your hoodie size, okay? Because we want to know your size. No slip, just type good game. GG. Yeah. Good going. You did it. GG, yeah, yeah, good going. Okay, so yeah, yeah, so uh, Matt Neely and Blair Peters again. Send us your email. Email us at livestream at bladdy.com. Send us your shipping address, uh, phone number, and uh, hoodie size, and attach the screenshot where we say congratulations, Blair Peters. Congratulations, uh, Matt Neely. Okay, 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 guys, let's go, let's keep going. We still have one more giveaway, and it's going to be mini fridge, mini fridge, let's go. Okay, so I think it's time we let AB55 and AB70S rest, we let it go, and we're moving on. PV 120 hour solar panel, but because traditionally we never we had never had PV 120 in the studio, right? So I can't demonstrate it to you, but we can imagine it together. So here is EB 55 and EB 70s. Thank you guys. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Say bye. Bye. I'm just gonna. Right now, they're on the bench. You mean Cristiano Ronaldo? Who who's that? The guy on the bench. Oh, okay. What, what game? Uh, soccer. Oh, soccer. I don't play soccer. I'm sorry. I play, I know hockey more than soccer because, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, like you don't have to play soccer to know Cristiano Ronaldo. But, but, oh, I know that guy now. Yeah, he's like on the bench mostly. Oh, right. Yeah. Time. Yes, I heard about it. It's not fair. I actually, I only know, I, I know more drama about his wife. Like people actually boycott it. The the um, that uh, world championship because they say they said well if if Ronaldo's on the bench right yeah. like I'm not watching it oh, really? you know what I mean like yeah people like were protesting like mm -hmm. like don't put Ronaldo on the bench mm -hmm. protests everywhere like in Paris and I think this is his last game that's what I saw it yeah yeah, yeah. but now he's playing for uh, oh Arabic yeah Dubai or mm -hmm. something. I saw it too. Okay. <laughs> what was the other one? Neymar? Something like uh, that. Uh, Neymar? Uh, who? Our Facebook winner? No, 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 the soccer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Neymar. The other one. From Brazil, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ronaldo's from Portugal. <clears throat> okay. okay, so uh, Ronaldo Burn. <laughs> what? What? Sorry? <laughs> okay, Savage. What is referred to? Garrick? <laughs> uh, okay, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just, just, just for the record, I don't know maybe like it's against the policy to joke like that. But it was like a joke mm -hmm. that people are protesting in Paris because Ronaldo's on the bench. Yeah, it's a joke. Oh, it's a yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was real. No, 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 no. There are so many reasons to protest. There are wars in the world. There are like oh, yeah. feminine Which stuff. Wants to protest. Now I no, no, like it was just kind of like sad, you know. But mm -hmm. that's it. No one was protesting, and no one was boycotting the world championship because Ronaldo was on the bench. Uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm from Europe. That's why, like, we grew up playing football. All right. Uh, didn't mean to be aggressive. Yet. I'm really excited for the Valentine's Day stream. Uh, oh yeah. I mean, I'm not, but <laughs> no, I am too. Right, guys. Come with your. Uh, what is it called? What is right now the polite way to refer to someone's partner? Um. I'm I'm, I'm I'm afraid. Everybody know Helena. I'm talking about you. We already posted. I'm saying, what is the polite way to refer to someone's partner, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, right now, it's it's very easy to get people pissed it's off. You know what I mean? Like, if I say like girlfriend or boyfriend, it might be like sexist and stuff. People say like, don't call 
Stop. Them girlfriend. So just stop here. So, yeah, yeah. I will be on the live stream, guys. Vlad is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Am I not going to be that familiar with products compared to I'm not, I was not talking about, about you okay. or me. Okay. Significant other. Exactly. So this word, this phrase, right? No one will sue the, no, no one will sue you for that. Significant other. Partner. I think partner is good. I like Thank you, partner. partner. Because partner is neutral gender. So you don't need to refer a girl, uh, the female or the male. So it's neutral. There. Stop here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm just really trying to be respectful. <clears throat> okay. Uh, P Let's just talk about AC. No, no, no. P120. Oh. P120. Oh. So. Was that? Yeah, yeah. So PV120, guys, PV120 is a solar panel, right? And uh, maximum solar input is 120 watts. And that's mean you will always get this output. Very important to know, right? So mm, is that a water in the cup or something stronger? In fact, there is nothing in the cup right now. I'm finishing the last sip of water with a V. Okay. Um, we now actually need to rush now. We only have 30 minutes left. Oh, my watch died, that's why. Okay. 30 minutes? Okay. Oh my god! We have a beast over here. We have an A star P, P120, P120, P250, P450, P420. Yes. Let's chop chop on this. And we have like 35 minutes left. Yes. Okay, we want chop, we want uh, do it fast. So Very fast, guys. Okay, okay, so, okay. Now, P120, nothing changed. You know this solar panel very well. And right now the price is $249, okay? Uh, discounted price, enter the code LIVEPV120. Immediately moving on PV200, okay? PV200, uh, peak power 200 watts. Cell efficiency is up to 23.4% as usual. PV200 is right here. So for those of you guys who never saw our solar, who have never seen our solar panels, they all look the same. Here is the IP65 junction box, protects the most vital um, cables from debris and splashes and water and fire and vampires. And here's MC4 connectors, so you already know that our uh, power stations all have this MC4 connector cable, so this side goes to the power station, this side, this side just you can connect them together, okay? This is it. Now, Technical details are all here and they come in two languages, in English and in your in the local language. So for Europe it's gonna be like French or German or for Japan it's gonna be Japanese. So don't worry about that. Uh, here we have all the important uh, technical details, right? And the most important one is of course, uh, open circuit voltage right here, C VOC for short, it's 26.1 volts. So 26.1 volts for EB55 and for um, EB70S, the maximum uh, limit here is for, from 12 to 28 volts. So 26.1 volts is in this range. So it's okay, it's compatible. It is compatible, no problem. Okay, now the cables are this long and the length of those cables is the same for all solar panels. Long enough, right, to maybe put your, put your uh, power station in the shadow and put the <coughs> solar panel outdoors or expose it directly to the sun. Okay, now disconnect those MC4 connectors, it's really easy. Put them back, you never lose them. They're very well organized right here. Here we have those kickstands. We can also control the angle. Okay, it can be anywhere from this to this. And the angle is one of those uh, things that actually affect the, solar, the maximum solar input. Okay. Now, it looks somewhat small, but if you actually open it, you will see how big it is when you unfold it. Okay. So this is how big it gets for panels, right? Uh, and it weighs at 16.1 pounds. The dimensions you saw how big it is approximately. Again, PV4, uh, 200 right now also we offer it at a special price $429. If you want to get it at this price, make sure that you copy 
this discount code from description, okay? Okay, now, next solar panel is going to be uh, PV350. But before we jump on it, uh, I want to tell you guys that we have various sets or bundles. For example, you can get EV55, okay? And you're thinking, I would want to get EV55 with a solar panel. And it's a very good call. I think it's a very good idea. So, EV55 and, sorry, I just called Siri. EV55 and PV, uh, 120, okay, is one of the bundles. Again, and the live stream price is $648. EB55 and uh, EB70S and PV120. EB70S and PV200. So this is EB55. You can check out the bundles in the description, guys. And here's EB70S, for example, and PV200. They're a nice bundle. Uh, the live stream price is $928 and the code is EB70SPV200. Okay, so anyway guys, check out those bundles. Remember to use those codes. You will see the uh, model name, okay? How much money you're saving and then you will see a code. Now, either enter or copy and paste that code when you place an order, but remember to use those codes. Okay, and now we're moving on AC to 100P and it's potential, not necessary, but potential expansion battery B to 130. Okay, so here is AC to 100P is from AC to 100 collection. We have AC to 100 cell, we don't sell it anymore. AC to 100P and AC to 100 Max. AC to 100 Max is the most popular one and remember, was that Mark Flat who said he's getting a DC to DC charging cable for his uh, Ace to Heart Max a p power uh, station. So yeah, Ace to Heart Max is a very popular one. Ace to Heart P is still very good too. So Ace to Heart P uh, has the battery capacity of 2000 watt hours and the maximum AC load of 2000 watts. Very easy to remember that one too. The battery chemistry is lithium iron phosphate and the lifespan is 35 100 plus life cycles before the battery drops to 80% of the original capacity. We have 17 outputs right here, including two wireless charging pads on the top, rated at 15 watts each. Here we have a car power socket, 12 volt and 10 amp. Here we have an RV plug, DC, 12 volt and 25 amp, okay? Here we have a 12 volt and 3 amp DC 5.5 to 1 ports for Wi-Fi routers and stuff like that. Here we have a PD 60 watts. Here we have a USB uh, 5 volts and 3 amps. USB 5 volts, 3 amps, 4 of them in total. And of course, my favorite part is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Absolutely beautiful standard wall outlets. 100 to 120 volts and 2000 watts. Okay. Now here is the screen of a 200 p and on this screen we can see many things many, diff many different criteria uh, that we can it's very useful so long story short in this in the center we have battery life here we can see battery voltage is 53.4 volts uh, battery current battery soc or state state of charge it's 98 <laughs> percent that was kind of funny seeing my face from there okay it's 98 percent and battery st standby First of all, let me uh, turn off this sound if I can. Uh, I think I cannot. Okay, right. So anyway, uh, here we have home page, right? And on the top, we don't have to click anything. Here we have PV or car input. So when we charge on our AC100P from a car power socket or from PV, photovoltaic, AKA solar panels, we'll see how many watts are coming in, right? For, like PV or car input. So maybe it's 100 watts, 200 watts, etc. Here is uh, the adapter. So when we're charging from an adapter, maybe from a wall outlet, or we're charging from from a uh, AC outlet, we'll see how many watts are coming in from here. Now DC load. When we're running any of those outputs, maybe this car power socket, this RV plug, maybe this one, USB A, USB C, we will see how many watts are being drawn from 
12 volt and 3 amp output, 12 volt and 10 amp output, 12 volt 25 output, and some uh, minor outputs like USB here, like PD here, and like wireless sharing pads at the top. We combine them in one, and we also will see the wattage has been drawn from those outputs. Okay, let's go back. Now here we see the AC load. So when we are loading any of those outputs, we'll see again what is the output voltage, and it's usually 100 to 120 volts, uh, output current, and it's, um, it's gonna be here, okay? And output power, is, is it, it cannot be higher than 2000 watts, and output frequency, it's going to be 60 hertz in America and 50 hertz in the UK, Europe, in some parts of Japan. So uh, settings, we have AC output voltage, it can be either 100 volts or 120 volts for America, it's again 120 volts. Uh, AC output frequency, 50 hertz for Europe, 60 hertz for America. DC one, uh, DC input source, sorry. So when you're charging your, when you're charging your AC and RP from, from a solar panel, please choose PV. If you're charging from car, please choose car. Now, eco mode, eco mode, so, oh, sorry. Okay, eco mode, yes or no. So basically eco mode, it shuts down the AC inverter in four hours if there is no load or the load is very low. It's a good mode to have, I'd say. I don't see downsides, downsides to it. So I would keep it on all the time, but it's up to you. You can always turn off by clicking no. Next, we have language settings. We have two languages, English and Japanese, because this unit can be used in Japan, right? So here we have, let's go back to English. Here we have AC output frequency, 60 hertz or 50 hertz. Oh, sorry, I already talked about that. Uh, buzz settings, on or off. So when we have an alert, if you wanna hear a buzz, like beep, turn off. If, if you don't wanna hear it, turn, my fingers are too fat probably. Okay, uh, turn it off. Okay, here we have day settings. So set a date here. Okay, and set the time here. So let me set the date here. 2023. I think it's just gonna be, I don't know how to set it. Anyway, time settings here, okay. Next we have data, we have product info. So we have is model a and p uh, We have all the versions here. And by the way, here is system temperature, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, inverter and charger info. These all could be accessed from the home page, so I'm not gonna stop here. And we already took, a, we, we already talked about that. BMS maintenance, again, the same that we could see from the battery. Here is the alarms that happen. So here's a number like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc. And here is when it happened. Uh, what year, what month, what day, and what time, and what is the fault code, right? So you can check what happened exactly. Okay, and here is faults. Here are all the faults. For example, you guys saw that we had like one alarm. It's 0031, which is 31 for short, right? So let's take a look what that is, 31. Uh, INV overload. So we know that this that alarm at 2020, January 5th, was caused by an INV overload. So we can we know what is going on what, what or what was going on. Okay, and this is pretty much it here. On the top we have the date again, and it's how we didn't change it. We, we are live, by the way, we're not in 2020. And here is the time. Here is the bonus turn DC on. So right now DC is on, and I can use all of those outputs, and including wireless sharing pass on the top. And AC is on, I can use all those AC outputs. So let's use them. Let's plug that hair dryer. Famously known for not being harmed. Okay. So here is my hair dryer. And for AC to 100p, I can have this peace of mind that I will not overload it. Okay, AC is on, DC can be off. And let me turn it on. 1314.24 watts right now. Okay, nice. That was the highest mode. And of course, we could load anything up to 2000 watts. And right now, let me also connect this bloody mini fridge. So here is the bloody mini fridge. Let's see how much. Where's the mini fridge? 
here. Okay. Sure. Right. So we have to turn DC on. 20, 35 watts, remember? Oh, 38 watts? 40 watts? Okay, that's interesting because for EB55 and EB70S, the highest went, I think it was 35 watts. And 1326, nice. 1325 from AC and 36 watts from uh, DC from that uh, meta fridge. We can also charge my phone wirelessly right now just to test if we can do it at the same time and indeed we can. My phone is charging right now. Okay, so it does not pull out a lot of watts but it is charging, trust me. Okay, and we can also load maybe this sandwich machine but gotta be careful. So, 1900, 1800, 91 plus 37. We're playing very close to failure here, but we're not failing yet. So, uh, can we please zoom out and check out what we have here, okay? So, here we have, here we, here we have, ready minute fridge, uh, my phone charging there. Uh, sandwich machine sandwich off? machine and the hair dryer the hair dryer mini fridge sandwich machine and my phone 37 watts from DC and 1879 watts from look okay sorry sorry Uh, now I get it. Sorry about that. It's okay. You don't have to be sorry about anything. From 98. Oh, we, so, 2%. Okay, 2%. 2%. 3. 2. 3. It's 95. Oh, okay. I thought it was in 6. Okay. Not in football, not baseball, not for the matter, uh, basketball. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so guys, we were running multiple devices from A700P. I'm just going to show you that A700P is still a good choice. Uh, okay, you can see that I have connected A700P to B230 here, but you don't have to. You don't have to. A700P works on itself, no problem. So, um, yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, now, what are the dimensions of A700P? So, it's 16.5 inches by 11 inches by 15.2 inches. <laughs> and it weighs in at 60.6 pounds. Okay, all right. Now, um, what is in the box? In the box we have, oh, this is just, no, no, this one. But in the box we have AC adapter uh, and charging cable, MC4 solar charging cable, MC4 to XT90. This cable actually, this cable right here, okay. So we can connect it to the, Hold on a second. Wait a second. MC4 solar charging cable. MC4 to XT90. Wait, we don't have input here, do we? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, car charging cable, X, car to XT90. Uh, XT90 to aviation plug user manual, warranty card, and a certificate. We also have a bunch of accessories that you can get. They're not included. 12025M aviation plug to XT60, 12025M XT60 to SPC45 output, 1224 volt LED acid battery charging cable, X90 to red black clamp, connector for dual AC adapter, female 7909 to XT60, trolley, and a carry bag. Now, 17 outputs as we, al as we already figured out, right? We have everything for 99% of devices. How do we charge AC and RP? From AC wall outlets, from the solar panels, from the car cigarette lighter, from a generator, from a lead acid battery, and for a uh, solar charging, again, remember open circuit voltage, it cannot be lower than 35 volts and not higher than 150 volts. And 
The current limitations there are 12 amps. It's not strict. It's just that it's not going. It's not going higher than 12 amps. Now, from a car lighter port, uh, again, the maximum current will be 8.2 amps only. So, uh, if your car power socket is like 10 amps, sure, but the limits there are 8.2 amps. You can use it, no problem, but 8.2 amps is the the highest amperage you'll see. Uh, from a generator, it can be a gasoline, propane, or diesel generator. And again, um, make sure you choose the generator with a stable voltage. Now from lead acid battery, you can also recharge it. Maximum current, again, is 8.2 amps. So the current limits will be 8.2 amps. Is it a giveaway time right now? Yes. It's a giveaway time right now, guys. So we're giving away the Bluetti Mini Fridge. This is what it looks like. Wait a minute, fridge. Okay. Now, if we open it, you will see there is nothing there. Uh, this thing is removable. We can actually remove it if you want to put like maybe bottles there. If you want to put a bunch of things. It's gonna be this. Now, um, it's what it looks like. Okay. Here we have some buttons and stuff. Turn the whole thing off if you want. And on. Here is the cable. Okay. Let me show it to you. Is the length of the cable is sufficient. I'd say it's quite sufficient, it's quite big, uh, quite long. And here is the input. So, and guys, let's go. This is the biggest giveaway. We, we don't give away Bloody Fridge every day, but today we do. So please type Blue Addy in the comments. And for those of our amazing followers who watching us right now on Facebook, guys, now it's time you jump on YouTube because this giveaway is exclusively on YouTube. Okay, we can't do it on dual platforms yet, but Facebook fans, jump to YouTube. Our YouTube channel is called Bloody Official. Okay, and type Bloody, Bloody, Bloody. <coughs> Excuse me. Start? Sorry? Where's our birthday star? Uh, not Slim One. And another birthday star is uh, Mark Flat. Uh -huh. It's not his birthday, but it could be. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so Bladdy, 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 let's go for the giveaway. Uh, we're waiting for our Facebook fans, guys. Facebook, Facebook, this, less, this giveaway is only on YouTube, so please jump. And you need to type Bladdy. And you need to type Bladdy. You can't, you, you can't type anything else. Yes. What do you mean correctly? So, well, what if they type like blue? Blue with like one T, not double. Okay, D, okay. Right? All right. Then I feel so bad. You feel so bad about what? They didn't type it right. And then yeah. They missed the chance, right? So if you type like bloody with one T, what happens? You only get half of the fridge. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like they will just bring me that thing. Our first day's gonna show up, but we type sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, guys. Yeah, please type bloody. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bladdy, bladdy, bladdy. Wow, well, so many people typing bladdy. Or wait, it's actually the same people typing bladdy many times. <laughs> okay. But you do see one of the girls uh -huh. typing flowers, like emojis. You don't like flowers? I do, but what if we picked you and. What if we pick up the wrong flower and <laughs> no, eat it, but... right? And get poisoned? Do you want to do a screenshot? Uh, I don't know how to screenshot on this laptop, to be honest. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Let's do a screenshot. This is fun. I like that. Okay, let me do a screenshot on my uh, phone. How did you introduce the B200 video? Not yet. Okay, we will do that later after the giveaway. We still have 10 minutes. Here we are. Yes. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, guys. So. Type Blue Addy. Blue Addy giveaway ready. Yeah? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Just ready. We give away this fridge, by the way, guys. This fridge is going to your place. <laughs> that was the fridge, by the way. Okay, all right. I think the Facebook uh, guys had enough time to jump here on YouTube. Let's go. 10. No. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take the screenshot, and as long as your comment is here on the very bottom, you win. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, and the winner is Farmer Phil. Farmer Phil, congratulations, Farmer Phil.
Farmer Phil, congratulations! Uh, God knows, I was not looking at the phone. I was not looking anywhere. I was actually closing my eyes, guys. And Mar, uh, what was the winner name? Farmer, Farmer Bill. Yeah. Yes. Double check. Double check. Uh, Farmer Phil. Farmer Phil. Yes. <laughs> Farmer Phil. Congratulations. You got our bloody mini fridge. Yes, very good job. So, dear Farmer Phil, please email us at livestream at bloody.com. Okay, send us your shipping address, phone number, and also please attach the screenshot where we say, Congratulations, Farmer Phil, congratulations. Please kindly send the address, phone number, and email me at livestream at bloody.com for the shipping within 48 hours. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good going. Okay. Now, guys, how long can you run or charge various devices from Ace to 100P? Now, what are we talking about? Our phone, right? So we can charge our phone for 80 to 100 times. That's a lot of times. Oh, 100 hours, sorry, not, not times, hours. LED lamp of 21 hours, we can run it for 75 to 85 hours. TV, 35 inches, 75 watt hours, we can run it for 20 to 22 hours. Electric tools of 80 watt hours, we can run it for 19 to 20 hours. Fridge of 90 watt hours, we can run it for 17 to 19 hours. Electric cooker of 8 to 9 hours. Oh, <laughs> electric cooker of 200 watt hours, we can run it for 8 to 9 hours. Hours and a standard P right now we offer a $100 off discount. Uh, thank you, Blady. I'll be here on Valentine's Day for sure. For sure, for sure. Okay, thank you. Happy birthday, not slam. One more time. Happy birthday to you. Very good to spend this uh, to these two hours with you. You are our second um, person we had we basically had on our live stream during their birthday. Very good to have you here. Here it up for Not Slim, everybody. Happy birthday. Woo! Hopefully had a good day. Okay, so A Stern P guys, right now the website price is 1,599, but the live stream price is 1,499. Now, if you want more power, if you want even more battery capacity, why wouldn't you get B230? B230 is my favorite one, and I'm sure that so many of you guys could actually relate and can actually sign under what I've just said. Because B230 is just so adorable. It's so small. Look, the length and the width is exactly the same with the length and the width of a p and a Max, right? And it's relatively lightweight. It's much more lightweight than B300. It's really nice. And the battery capacity here is the same as here. Here's 2,000 watt hours, here's 2,000 and 48 watt hours, even slightly higher. The battery chemistry, same lithium iron phosphate. The life cycle, same 3,500 plus life cycles before the battery drops to 80% of the original capacity. We have built in MPPT controller, BMS, battery management system, etc. I was saying lightweight. How lightweight exactly? Well, 48 pounds. Dimensions again 16.5 inches by 11 inches by 8.9 inches. Okay, some guys are already living. Good night, good night. See you on Valentine's Day. Okay. Uh, giveaways are over and everybody's leaving. Okay, all right, I understand. Um, so, Standard battery voltage here is 51.2 volts and battery expansion for 58.8 volts DC, 8 amps. Okay, now in the box we have the battery expansion cable, but this battery expansion cable is only for a standard max. Uh, we have also a warranty card, user manual, and certificate of quality pass. And we also have a lot of optional accessories. Now, charging of B230 is simple, it's basically all the same methods. Wall charging, we also have uh, solar charging, we can charge B230 when it's together with a standard P or when it's together with uh, a standard max and we also offer it at a good price with a discount $100 off. Now let me show you the um, outputs of B230 real quick. So here we have USB type C, 100 watts, okay, quick charge, USB type A, 18 watts, quick charge, uh, 12 volt and 10 amp output right well, here. Maybe USB 18 watts and USB C 100 watts. 
and here is the button turned on. So how do you connect? So you have to long press this button, okay? Long press this button, and you see what started happening? Yeah, okay, now it means we have connected it with AC200P. Now, if you take a look at AC200P right now, you will see that uh, the battery here did not, excuse me, the battery here did not change, okay? It's still 95 watts, but what we have here is the input, 580 watts, 79 watts right now. So basically, it, wor it works like a power bank, right? We're charging our ACRP while actually running it. We connected ACRP with B230 uh, with those two cables, okay? And it's very easy right now. B230 can be connected to ACRP. Okay, guys, we have only five minutes before the end of our live stream. That means that all the discount codes also expire in five minutes, okay? So if you wanted to purchase anything and use those discount codes, please do it right now because they expire in five minutes. Okay, now uh, in another solar panel we have, and it's, it's a big one right here, it's PV350, okay? With the maximum input of 350 watts. So it's, it's like this but four times bigger, okay? Um, and here's the in interesting part about it. Remember, I told you guys multiple times over and over again that we have this open circuit voltage VOC thing, right? So the VOC of uh, PV350 is 46.5 volts. So is it expandable with EB55 or EB70S? No, because for those, the maximum voltage you can, uh, the maximum voltage is 28 volts, okay, but here it's from 35 to 150 volts. So from 35 and it's 37.5 volts, oh sorry, it's, it's, it's 46.5 volts, okay, so yes, it's expandable. Dimensions, unfolded, it's 94.4 inches by 35.6 inches. It weighs at 30.6 pounds, okay. It's also, it's also heavier than uh, other solar panels because it's bigger, right? Okay, all right now, uh, foldable and portable for sure. We have those carrying handles as always. Now all the uh, wires are very well organized right here. Okay, now here we have this, those kickstands. All right, the same design. And MC4 connectors, of course. Now, and the price right now is $799. Okay, guys, bigger than this solar panel is only PV420 solar panel right here. This is our, our biggest solar panel with the maximum input of 420 watts. So we have a little bit a new, new design right here. We have like newer design for those kickstands, okay? And we also have uh, the cables, same as before, with technical details here, okay? So, oops, all right. This is PV420 with a maximum input of 420 watts, and the price is $899. And finally, various bundles like AC200P, for example, and PV350. So we have this uh, bundle prices, right? So we also have special discounts right now. Copy those discount codes, please. So AC200P and PV350, the website price is $2,398, and the live stream price is $2,298. So basically, you're saving $100 off. Let me check if this is still the case. 100 yes $100 off correct okay guys all right I see the guys most of you have already left but thank you for staying here uh, okay I want to thank each of you guys for staying here for asking and answering questions for being with us for me it's been a pleasure uh, to be here with you guys for two hours. We appreciate your time and the last one giveaways. Thanks, Tim. And I'm glad you thank you, Robert Rodriguez. Thank you so much for your kind words. Uh, because make no mistake, when someone is not satisfied with our live streams and uh, says like, oh, Tim said that and that was disrespectful or Helena did that and that was disrespectful. Okay, we, we, we analyze each problem, but we also thank you for your kind words when you're just saying that. It's like, <laughs> okay, I didn't, 
Okay, I'm just reading the comments. Yeah, uh, Max, you scratch your head. Uh, I scratch my head. There was no hidden meaning to that. It's not like Tim, if you're in danger, scratch your head. No, uh, Blad, sorry. What? Okay, I'm not living. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm not living. Yeah, yeah, I think I said bye to you, but you're not living. Okay, guys, so it's been two hours. Pleasure. Um, next live stream is uh, this uh, Tuesday on February 14th at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's going to be Valentine's Day, right, Saint Valentine's Day. Um, oh, yeah, my, yeah my, Jeff says, uh, make chocolates next time. Hey, let's make chocolates next time, huh? Helena? Uh, oh yeah, you. Chocolate. Ch chocolates? 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 Oh, chocolates. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. What Chocol is chocolate? You mean like chocolate in shape or hot chocolate or chocolate funnel? What I think mostly bloody chocolate, maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. See you on the four. Everybody, very good to be here with you. Okay, uh, Tuesday, 14th, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, bye. See you guys. See you guys.